Dr. Abbott, you know it all. You are the go-to guy. For people trying to put this in perspective, can you give us a, a little bit more about this, this quake, this 5.2? Well, this is an earthquake on a fault that has a long history of doing big earthquakes and even larger ones than this. So in the same sense that we say we cannot predict earthquakes, we had no idea whatsoever this was going to happen today. On the other hand, once it has happened, we say, well, this is a totally expected event. It's not even as large of an earthquake as one might expect on this fault. This is a fault that could easily do a magnitude 7. And if we look back 15 years to the, to the Easter earthquake at that time, that was not on this named fault, but it was on this exact same trend. It was a 7.2 magnitude. So what we have here is, I think, what I'd call a, if I may, a, a typical day in San Diego, where you, you get up in the morning thinking, will there be an earthquake today? And there was. Uh, didn't know it was coming today, but hopefully everybody's mind knows that when the earth begins shaking, what's the first thing you think about? What can fall on me? What can be thrown at me and hurt me? How do I protect myself? And of course, what we commonly sell or try to push is the drop, cover, and hold on. So you get underneath that desk, get underneath that heavy table, get under some place where if things do fall, they won't hurt you. And so here was one of those kinds of events, an, an event of, uh, in, in a way, uh, this is, um, I, I don't really mind an earthquake like this as long as nobody really got hurt and there was no big damages because it's a good reminder of, of bigger things that will be coming at some point. Yeah, absolutely. And you mentioned that Easter earthquake. I cannot believe that was 15 years ago because I remember that one. And that one felt a little bit more like a, a rolling earthquake. Who, 15 years ago. So quite a difference. Um, and what have we learned from then to now? Well, what we have learned is basically not just from our earthquakes, but other earthquakes that occur around the world. When New Zealand was hit hard by earthquakes, when Japan was hit here in 2011, uh, when, when any place where buildings fail or serious damage occurs, people from around the world go there to look and see, what, why did this fail? Where, where was the weak point here? Why did this building, why did that bridge come down? And then you try to improve the building codes to say, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, connect this horizontal element, this, horizontal, this floor of this building to the vertical wall. We'll do a better job of tying it together so it can't come apart. It's that kind of a thing. Try to see where mistakes occurred, or not mistakes, but you know, damage, death. Where did the bad things happen during an earthquake? Look at, at it, try to understand what happened, and then change the building code so we fix it so it won't happen again for people getting hurt from that same kind of structure.